Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have brought you another story time. <sighs> the story time. My God. Okay, so I got out the shower and I was just feeling some type of way because it's close to Christmas and like, you know, family time and everything. And I just felt like the story needs to be told and gotten off my chest and what I eat. But yeah, so title. My uncle was trying to be my nigga. Let's let that sink in for a bit. Okay, so you know like as a black child, you have those friends or colleagues that belong to your parents and your aunts and uncles that you have to now adopt as your aunt and uncle. Like you don't even have a say in the matter. When you see Bob in the shopping mall, it's not Bob, it's Uncle Bob. When you see Betty or Jebediah, it's Uncle Jebediah. So, this is basically an Uncle Jebediah, right? He is like a childhood friend with my aunts and uncles and my mother. And, you know, like they grew up together. Like he was, yeah, he's always there. Family functions, lunches, whatever. Like, ugh. Oh, like always there. Like, ugh. Oh. Like that pimple that won't go away type of always there. You know? So, now, this is the uncle that I'm referring to. Not an actual blood uncle. Like, an uncle by association type of thing. So, let's just rewind. I was at my grandma's place. And, you know, it was there, it was holidays. My first week of the holidays, I decided let me go to my grandma's and let me chill because I haven't seen my queen in a while and whatever. So, minding my own business, watching some TV, she sends me to the corner store to get some bread. And, okay, cool. Go get some bread. But on my way, On my way there, like a whole lot happened. On my way there and back. So, get out the gate. Alright? I'm walking. A couple of houses down. This old man, this Uncle Jebediah, pops out his yard, he greets me, and I'm like, What's up, Uncle? Blah, blah, blah. And he was like, How you doing? I'm like, I'm good. He asked me where I'm going. I told him I'm going to the corner store. And I thought he was going to send me to get something for him as well but he was like oh, okay cool i'm going there too and i was like okay so that means i have to walk with this dude earphone out shop as we're walking there you know he asked for a life update how are you doing what are you doing i heard that you finished school this that and the other and i was like okay cool yeah catch up you know this is my life oh, wah, wah, wah. and okay cool so now the conversation is getting a little intrusive, man. Like, it's getting a little intrusive, you know? Like, he asks me if I have a boyfriend. I'm like, um, no. Which, which was true. Do you have a boyfriend? And I'm like, no. And then he's like, oh, okay, cool, why? And I'm like, um, yeah, I don't really have time to fit that into my life right now. Like, it's not a chat. Like, it's not a thing. And he was like, okay, so we get to the corner store, I buy my bread, wait for my change, and we're walking back now. When we're walking back, he asked for my number. I 
this old man asked for my number but then I'm like okay cool um, uncle vibes whatever gave him my number shop so after that like we're approaching his his crib and he says to me no well you know um, you and I okay I'm gonna say this in Zulu first because I, I do understand that most of my well some of my subscribers don't speak Zulu or Tswana or any South African languages and then I'll translate so he said to me no like no 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 translate you and I could put something together you know just chat casually and stuff like that so then I'm like um, okay. so now he'd had my numbers now like there was nothing I could do but wait for him to contact me so I can block his number so now we get to like a house away from his his house and he says which means you're grown but then like there's a there's a difference between your grown who says it and how they say it. When dudes around when trackers around the hood say uhudile, it means you look more attractive. You you appealing to me type of vibe. Right? When old people say it, it's like, oh the last time I saw you was like you were like they yay high and whatever. And yeah, you've grown up, you've become a human being. But then like because of the conversation we had had before him saying Uhudile man I was like okay so clearly Ome is hitting on me and Ugh whatever I'm just gonna leave it alone. So I get home, give my grandma her stuff, whatever, whatever. Oh, was it was it that day? No, it was the next day. So the next day he asks me if I'm home and I said yes and then he says are you at your grandma's or and I said yeah I'm at my grandma's and then he says to me okay cool well um would you mind coming outside and I said no I'm busy I'm cleaning that was a lie because oh man get off my turf you know type of stuff so I was like okay cool yeah whatever leave it at that ten minutes later my friend pulls through and says yo bruh let's go to the mall let's walk to the mall and I'm like okay cool we get outside we walk into the mall so I tell him like yo this old man bruh like oh he's been a pain at my back day he's been a pain at my bum he's been a pain at my nyash he's just been a pain so he was like ah oh, no yeah he does that hey he's the resident sugar daddy around here buys people food gives them cash and then you do your bed and I'm like oh my god hell no hell no okay so now we get to the mall and my grandmother actually given me money to get some stuff for her because I told her that I was going to the mall get to the butcher get my grandmother whatever she needs as we're walking up to the supermarket I see him I greet him I walk past him okay cool so now we're done at the mall walking back home so I leave my friend at his spot before walking to my grandma's place on my way there uncle Jebediah was standing like outside his house so he said to me oh is that your boyfriend and i said oh man i just told you yesterday that i don't have a boyfriend like okay cool and then he said can i help you the, the stuff i was carrying was heavy but because it was him i could have even walked to cape town with my baggage like if it was anybody else even if it was a demon I would even give the demon my stuff to get but because it was him I was like no because I don't feel like having that conversation again said no walked to my grandmother's and got home and packed stuff whatever two days later calls me at like 7 p.m. and asked me if I'm at my grandmother's and I said no and then he says oh, okay well I was actually in the area that you stay in I'm in your suburb would you like to go out for dinner and I'm like listen oh man oh man you are my mother's friend you're like two years older than her 
okay if not younger but you're around her age range so what would we be putting together that needs a dinner without her knowing and what would happen if we doing something on the side and then she finds out he's like no she doesn't have to find out and I'm like excuse me like you're old bro like this is not even okay like why are you messing around with me so then he was like no calm down and I said no I cannot be calm how 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 are you telling me to be calm right now because you the person that I know as my uncle you're hitting on me and now I must be calm please respect yourself and stop calling me because if you don't stop calling me I'm going to tell my mother that you're bothering me like oh no I apologize and I say good just leave me alone then I hang out right so that's not the end though so fast forward like three four months I was at my grandma's place again and I was with the same friend that I was with like when we were at the um, mall the shopping complex so now he's like he greets us and walks past so i was chatting to my friend you know just chatting like we were chilling there with like ice bobs for those of you who don't know you don't know but if you know you know with ice bobs you know just chatting catching up whatever whatever so my friend like had to go home to fetch his phone or whatever and then come back because we were planning to walk somewhere and then when he, like old man comes back asked me how but I asked you if this is your guy and you said no and I said oh are you serious right now he's like no I feel like you and I and I was like oh oh my goodness cause I got Jesus but God for the God like Prajay Ungletela Inkinga out of nowhere Like, why me? What did I do to deserve an entire Omi, my uncle esque, hidden on me like that? Thinking that we could be item, item. Okay, so I I, got, I lost it. Like, I won't even lie, I lost it. I, I didn't cuss him out, but I was like, what you're doing is dumb. Like, I was going ham and whatever. And then he left. I didn't hear from him again. Thank goodness but like what made like didn't you see me as didn't you see me as your niece like oh by the way this happened like just after I turned like 16 so it was like one of those things where I was like hi man like really brah like Ugh, like uh even the thought of just holding your hand is so uh like uh what what uh, didn't you see me as your niece like what why are we doing this why do i have to go through this uh, no that left me in a in a state of shock horror like shock plus horror shock horror thank you so much for watching my story time if you have experienced similar shock horrors as i have please leave it down in the comment section let's deal with this together because really honestly and truly these aunties and uncles like they forget how old they are they really do they forget how old they are they think that we're all the same age and we can all party party together especially some if you see them in the club it's like no but bro what are you doing at taboo why are you here where were you going and like now you need to drink with caution because your parents might find like it, it's just so much like stay in your lane oh people please <sighs> okay anyways so like i said if you've experienced this or if you have some constructive criticism about anything the video what you'd like to see next um one my chance let me know down below if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up this was very traumatic if you are new, please don't forget to subscribe and switch your bulb on so you can get notifications when I upload, okay? I know you're not rude to so watch this video, cry, laugh at me, cry with me, be shocked with me, 
and then just exit like this video never meant anything to you like why and how like does it even make sense anyways follow me on my socials and i will see you guys super 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 soon with another video you are amazing amazing I was trying to enter, I was trying to enter, I was trying to